you know, um, I always start that off, you know. First thing first, before I get this started, um, shout out to uh, Mr. Superboy223. Um, I was watching his video... I was watching his video on on this particular topic right there, which you know a few of my subs and some friends of mine was asking me about this, and I posted the same picture that you see here on my um, Instagram page, and you can see um, these two these two Peckerwoods right here, A.K.A. Race Soldiers, <coughs> was is to cover the topic. Um, the one, these are two officers of the Gwinnett County. Sorry about that, people. My apologies. The thing is, like, I don't put, I don't put nothing past no crackers whatsoever, not at all. And I know I've been using using that word a lot though, but to describe these two pieces of shit is is sufficient evidence enough. on account of, of what they have done. The officers that you're looking here in question happens to be named, um, the one on the left is Robert McDonald, and the one on the right is Sergeant, well, former Sergeant now, Michael uh, uh, Bongiovanni, you know. Now, in case y'all haven't know, y'all been living under the rock because, um, few of my sons want me to talk about this um they had recently had got fired for for basically beating up a black motorist and they did it in the, in typical savage uh inhumane ways and the behavior pattern and the pathology of the typical cave dwelling neanderthal um caucasoids Caucasoids with their animalistic nature, but you know this is what happens though when you got a two couple of pussies like these that basically, you know, they probably used to get their ass kicked when they was in school or whatever like that and couldn't get the popular girl or whatever. So they decide when they grow up, they decide to become police officers and just a little justification of revenge. But you know, I could easily sit up here and say that. Well, well, not all cops are like that. Well, hmm. I know some that are cops, and whether they're white or black. Some may be cool or whatever like that, though, but I still have my guards up no matter what when I'm dealing with them. Because like I said before, I don't put nothing past none of them. That's just how, I, that's just me. That's just me. But anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just read you the story um, about it. Because the gentleman in, in question, and it's coming straight from uh, Hinterland Gazette, which is very credible, by the way. Uh, as you can see right here. Officers Robert McDonald and Sergeant Michael Bongiovanni fired for kicking handcuffed black motorist Demetrius Hollis. You know, so now I see where Taurine Rain gets that from. Shout out to Taurine Rain. Taurine Rain, I'm sorry. Let's just get into it. Uh, two Gwinnett County, Georgia police officers, Robert McDonald and Michael Bojanvani, were fired after video showed show them kicking and punching and handcuffing black motorist Demetrius Hollins. Now, Officer Robert McDonald was captured on the video shot by an eyewitness kicking Hollis while he was handcuffed to the ground. See that shit? While he was handcuffed to the ground. And then you just got a second video shows Sergeant Michael uh, Bongiovanni punching Hollis in the face as he exits the car with his hands up. Now Sergeant 
Bon Giovanni wrote in his report that when he approached when approaching Hollis's vehicle, he could smell marijuana and that he was acting strangely and started screaming, I need my mom. Okay, let me stop right there. First thing first, um smoking marijuana don't make nobody act crazy. Okay, it just don't. And he bought it, he goes into the particular uh idiotic uh uh Fox Loose Fox News um stereotype thinking that mar relating marijuana to not just black people but people of color but particularly black people and he started acting acting strange this reminds me so much of of the latter that that these that these pecker woods down in Sanford Florida in my backyard here in my home state of Florida um how they stereotype and painted the picture of Trayvon Martin that you know that Trayvon was acting weird and crazy or whatever like that you know marijuana don't make nobody act crazy it mellows you out you chill and the only, only side effect it just makes you hungry okay nobody acts strange and starts screaming like that or acts strangely like that let's continue the report claimed Mr. Hollis resisted arrest by refusing to put his hands behind his back when ordered out of the car. Well, why would he want to put his hands behind his back? He's already got his hands up when he exited the car. The only reason you put your hand behind his back is because unless he's under arrest. Now, if it's a traffic stop, is he un was he under arrest? You know... You could tell this cracker was just writing all type of lies to try to make him look good. But let me tell you something. These jokers falsify reports all the time. And my place of business or where they work, particularly like, you know, in the security department, I've seen them do that plenty times and all that stuff. So, you know, plenty times. So, all right. So, all that, he was tased and handcuffed on the ground. Now, if he's handcuffed, why the hell are you going to go ahead and tase him? It don't make no sense doesn't make no sense whatsoever now here's the video um right here now this video ain't gonna have no audio to it you know so but i will just play it and i will leave the link in the description so y'all can go back and and click on it and listen to it as well listen watch and listen to it so let's just i'm just play the video right here if i could try to All right, you can see. Now, why is he tasing him? Now he putting the handcuffs on after he slapped him, punched him in the face. Now watch. Now he he come running. What he does? Look, right there. Now. Yeah, now was that necessary? Now, this guy could keep the down camera still. You saw you saw what happened. You see how this one came running out of nowhere from right field and just and just kicked them, kicked them right in the face. Now let's just go. Uh, now Bajiovani, um, 
that's him, the 19-year veteran of the Gwinnett Police Department, also wrote that he remembered Hollis in a previous traffic stop and claims he had, quote-unquote, because um, he had reached for a loaded firearm under his seat. Now, he was fired for lying in his incident report and for his actions. Officer McDonald was also fired. He admitted that he was wrong to kick Demetrius Hollis. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He admitted that he was wrong? No. He knew exactly what the hell he was doing. Now, you know, in case people don't know where Gwinnett County is, Gwinnett County, that's in Georgia. Okay, preferably, um, that's like... No, Chatham County, that's where Savannah at. Gwinnett County is like not too far, like right, nestles right next to Fulton County, which is in Atlanta. Gwinnett County sits outside of it. You know, so I wouldn't be surprised if either one of these two fuckers are Klansmen. You know, I warned y'all about like how these, these white supremacists had, had um, infiltrated in law enforcement according to that dossier I have from the FBI from 2007, 10 years ago. Okay, and it proves it right there. Anyway, so the Gwinnett County Police Department said in a statement, the revelation, revelations uncovered in this entire investigation are shocking. We are fortunate that this second video was founded and were able to move swiftly to terminate a supervisor who lied and stepped outside his training and state of law. Now, we acknowledge that the actions of these two officers have implications that will be felt for some time. However, we also believe that our decisive action in terminating both officers speaks volumes about what is expected of each officer that wears a Gwinnett County police badge. Okay, first thing first, um, I would give major props, first of all, to the Gwinnett County Pol uh, Police Department or Gwinnett County Sheriff's or whatever they call them. Um, I would give them props for that, you know, but that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Um, if I was the family of Demetrius Hollis, Hollins, um, I, I would go ahead and press charges. I would go ahead and press charges, file a lawsuit against the Gwinnett County Police Department, against these two crackers and their families and everything. And of course, and of course the city of the, the town as well see the problem is um i posted the same picture of these two of these two fuckers on my on my instagram page as well and that has got they're still right now still getting a lot of heavy traffic and stuff uh getting getting a lot of heavy traffic and i believe i left the link in the description on there too but this is just the type of shit is the reason why police why in this era in this atmosphere of the Arkham Asylum administration has created and the atmosphere and the tension that 45 has created as well to try to basically divide not only us as a people because you know yeah you got a lot of black people that's that are uh, 45 supporters and stuff so now you know now you see the race soldiers now, you know, they're, they're open with it, they, they, and they know they can do this and get away with it, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Um, and as Tariq Nasheed said, and I said this before, you got to understand, this is happening in April. April is the birthday period of Aries. Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is a war planet, and, Mar and, people, and, and war planet rules is red aggressiveness so it, 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 it if uh, it influences soldiers police officers salesmen I could go on and on but according to some of my subs and I gotta totally agree with them on this that these two they probably just gonna go ahead and go to another little small town well, maybe the forty percent of the population is black, and seventy percent of the population is white, and probably be be deputies right there. This is how they do. Okay, that's how it happened with that with that piece of shit, Darren Wilson, 
went when he left left that um Jenner's police department and got over there to Ferguson PD. You know. But then again, like I said, I don't put shit past neither one of these two or anybody like that. You know. They best better be careful or otherwise they may have another um Michael Johnson or Gavin Long on uh, on their hands. And you wonder why people don't feel sorry f um, for police when they get killed. But then again, if you you go by sh um, by the hum by the dirt by the dirt bag and self hating filth, Sheriff David Clark, he'll tell you that oh, police has the toughest job in the world. What's so tough about driving around in a, a city a city property city issue? Uh, squad car sitting in the AC eating eating Dunkin Donuts and coffee <clears throat> and basically not doing nothing but just getting like what 18 working 18 hours getting time and a half and all this other shit like that you know some of these guys like police some of these police I'm not saying all but just most of them I'm just speaking about the race soldiers and some of the coons too that are cops some of them are the biggest crybabies I've ever seen in my life. But then again, like I said, these guys, they're cowards. They're, they're cowards. I mean, um, this whole week, like I said, in April, like, you know, this is where they get turned up. This is when the white supremacists get turned up. Now, keep in mind, uh, family, mark this on your calendar, too. April 20th is uh, Hitler's birthday. So, you know... That should keep that and keep that in close proximity of mind too, because see we already um, it was already two black judges that was killed already one one who being a Muslim fate of Islamic fate and another one that was in Chicago, you know, so so ain't no doubt it's people like this that happens to be behind it, <clears throat> but I have posted this picture right here on my Instagram page. Um, and it's also on my Twitter page too, as well. Uh, well, and yes, as usual, the trolls found their way over there, so I shut their dumb asses down as well. This is like one of the reasons, like um, they 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 could have had known, cause like you can't be that damn stupid. I fail to realize, but then they don't care if the, if somebody is recording them. But but look what happened. Look exactly what happened. Look exactly what happened. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this link in the description for you so you can go ahead and follow it up. Because um, I'm also following up another story um, when it comes down to the judges. I'm going to go ahead and I may touch, I'm going to touch on that as well. Um, first thing, but like I said, uh, shout out to Harvey Superboy um, for... For, for on this because that's where I got it from um, I was watching his video and I was reading reading this article on, on there before I started doing this one doing this one but personally I hope I hope they find their ass taking a dirt nap somewhere and get shit and get shitted on fuck these motherfucking race soldiers